Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Volt Bike. So, today is Season 1, Episode 1 of Vehicle Break. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb name that I made. Um, so we're going to go over all the things that the Volt Bike has to offer, and more impor importantly, is it worth it? <coughs> so, anyways... Uh, yeah, so first we're gonna go, and we're gonna just start off with the launch. Launch speed, it's incredible. It's, it, it has, um, it has better acceleration than the Roadster, and Roadster has some amazing acceleration. So that's a, that's a pretty big thing. Um, so yeah, the, um, the Volbike has amazing launch. Now we're going to look at its acceleration. You know, it's basically amazing. It can go to its top speed or just below its top speed in pretty much like two seconds, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this, this car's launch and acceleration is amazing, you know. Um... Alright, so now we're going to go over its top speed. Its top speed is another amazing thing. So, it's not as, it's the fifth fastest uh, car that's obtainable and is not limited. So, top speed is 215 miles an hour, which is amazing. It's an, um, it's an excellent car for its price, $1 million dollars. Um, so now we're going to go over its, um, braking. So, go ahead and go to its top speed. And it takes 1.5 seconds to come to a complete stop. However, um, just to let you know, for, um, so this car has zero friction, or almost zero friction so it will never stop it the car has zero friction so it's never gonna stop so as you can see the car is still moving even when it's like stopped however if I jump out of the car it actually stops but yeah it, it has zero friction whatsoever it's kinda like space it has zero friction um, yeah, so anyways, that's all good, um, off-roading, it can handle some light off-roading, however, the off-roading of the car is not that great, um, it can, it can still perform pretty well in, like, these sandy dune areas, However, it's off-roading, just not really the best. So it's really only a car for like the actual road. So it can handle some light off-roading, but not much. Um, so you know, that's the off-roading. Um, let's see, so we've done top speed, launch, acceleration, braking. Uh, I just forgot what the other ones were. Handling, yeah. Handling and reverse speed. So these are, these are two major important facts that I forgot. Um, so, handling... Or, no, we're, we're going to go over reverse speed first. So, re the reverse speed is amazing at 79 miles an hour. However, it's very hard to reach this because the actual acceleration for the reverse speed is not great. Um, so, yeah, it, the acceleration for the reverse speed is not great. Um... And the handling. The handling 
is amazing. It's so I used to have the Eclair before I just traded it and a bunch of other things like some ads so I could get the Volt. Um, and the Volt has literally way better handling than the Eclair. The Eclair was always hard to like um, handle, like the handling was just really poor, but handling on this is amazing. It used to be really bad, and it used to be really buggy before it had a revamp in 2021, I think. Um, yeah, so, yeah, all those are amazing factors. Now we're going to go over some extra stuff. So, um, so the seats, it really does not, it, it's only a one-seater, so it, it's kind of bad for, like, people who are grinding. Like, many people are grinding, unless they all have, like, volt bikes or something like that. Also, um, you cannot you cannot actually pop the tires of the volt bike when you're a police officer, which is a big disadvantage. Um, but your tires, so... Your tires cannot actually be popped on the criminal team, which is a huge advantage. But they can your your tires, even though it seems like you have no tires, you do actually have tires. You can see them right here. Um, so you do actually have tires. It's just incredibly hard to pop the tires because of this thing's absurd speed and extremely small hitbox. So it's going to be very hard to pop the tires. You have to shoot them. You can't just run into them as a cop. So, yeah, that's it has a lot of advantages as a criminal, but so it's it's really much better to use as a criminal. It's it's not as good as the Black Hawk for grinding, but it's certainly the one of the probably the best um vehicle for grinding that's like an actual like car and not a helicopter maybe the concept is better I'm not really sure but this one this it's just an amazing car um also it's body color does not actually uh like change it so um if we do none so as you can see, I have this hyper pink body color. I have deep purple as my body color. However, it only alters the tire and this part. So yeah, I've never tried yellow before, but it looks really good. Um, yeah, so body color only changes this part. Um, and texture, a lot of textures do not work on the volt bike a lot so the racer this one does not work peach does not work um you know classic var 3 classic var 1 somehow classic var 2 works but not 1 or 3 i always found that to be weird but yeah a lot of skins really don't work Yeah, so a lot of skins just don't work. I guess that kind of makes sense because it it has an extremely weird and ex it has an extremely extraordinary shape. Um, personally, I like the ice texture the most because with the ice texture, it basically makes it seem white instead of black. Um, so here it is without it. Kind of gives me and like, kind of lets me rest my eyes. I also like Scorch. Not really, though, because of the white, uh, kind of part right there. Um, yeah. So, 
a lot of textures just don't work for some reason. Like frost doesn't work. But that's kind of okay because it, it's extraordinary shape. But I, I like ice because it basically, it basically just looks like it kind of changes the whole color. Um, so as you can see, it does not really have many things to change here. Um, so you cannot actually level up its engine, which is kind of a bummer, but it, its engine is already kind of, its top speed and stuff is already overpowered. You can't adjust brakes, which I really don't like, but I don't know. And yeah, this, this looks really nice. It also gives out this extremely cool, uh, trail for when you're, accelerating and I just I just think that's one of the best parts so the vehicles based on Tron or the the vehicles based on the movie Tron and Isimo and Bad CC both made a game about Tron before before they made this vehicle and they they made this vehicle uh I guess to dedicate the game and yeah, so now we're gonna do power plant. We're not doing it with sword. Let's just hope I don't get clapped in the middle of power plant. Let's just hope I don't get clapped. So I'm gonna show the average kind of money that you get from it. gonna go as fast as I can please don't clap me please don't clap me okay it did not clap me that would have been really bad for the video if it clapped me come on train tracks I'm making a video why is it that train tracks have to mess everything up when you're doing a video? Train tracks are literally my enemy. I hate, I literally despise train tracks. Oh my god. So usually you get 5,350. But because that run was actual doo doo, I only got 5,150. Because that was actual doo doo. One thing that I really hope that a simo ba the bad demo would just please like make it easier to go over these train tracks. I mean, look at this. Are you serious? It's only easy to go over train tracks at high speeds. Come on, man. But uh, yeah. There's not really much else to say about it. Um, now, is it worth it? Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I definitely recommend this car for grinding. Stuff like that. Um, it's not as good as other cars for a police team. Because you can't really pop tires and other things. But overall, still pretty good. Um... Yeah, so another thing, unlike other cars, it does not flip over. It Like, ever since I've used this car, it has never flipped over once. Literally never. So yeah, um, the, the suspension is pretty low, though. Actually, does it hover from the ground? Wait a minute. It literally hovers from the ground. Wait, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. So the the top hovers from the ground, but not the bottom. 
Okay. Well, that's weird. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next. Um, I'll see you in the next video or live stream. And one more thing, I'm doing a cheese horror game. One of my classmates in fourth period recommended me to do a cheese horror game for my 15 subscribers special. So, you know, I'm going to do that. So, um, and as of right now, I have 12 subscribers. So make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.